Hello everyone, I'm going to show you today how to build an app that will store data, an SMS app that will store data in a Google spreadsheet. So what can you do with this kind of thing? Well, you could set it up to uh, do some polling or you could do it as a timesheet, time tracker, anything that you want to store in a spreadsheet uh, from SMS messages sent to a Twilio number and um, you can manipulate them in, in, in Excel or whatever uh, after the fact. Uh, so let's get started. What you need to do is go to your Google account and go to docs.google or drive.google.com I guess it's called and you're going to create a spreadsheet. So what we're going to do is just put a few fields in there and create a form. Um, first of all let me call it something. Let's call this Twilio uh, Tracker. Well, let's call this Twilio, yeah, Twilio Tracker stuff. Okay, so in the first field here we're going to just put a, um, put what the message is going to be sent to, which is the body, and then we're going to do, let's do from, That'll be the number it's coming from. So this will be your, the person texting in. This will be what they text in. Okay, let's also do, these are all things that you can find uh, in the Twilio docs as far as some of the uh, parameters that you can put in. So from city and let's say from state. So obviously it'll tell you what city it's coming from and what state it's coming from. So after you do that, you can, uh, what will automatically be inserted is a timestamp, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. So uh, do what you need to do there. Obviously you're going to need body because you want to know what was text in. Um, go, and go to tools, let's create a form now. And there's, there's the, um, let's just put in here testing. And we'll save that. Now you see we have basically a form here. And here's the link that you need to do. You need to copy and paste this. Copy. And now we're going to go to uh, a Heroku application called Twilio Sheet. It's at twiliosheet.herokuapp.com. And what you need to do is paste in right here the app that, or the URL of the form that you just did. Now, when I press submit, you're going to see that it it worked. You're almost done. So now what we do, we've got our form, we've got everything set. We need to take this and pay, copy and paste this into the URL, the SMS URL of our Twilio account. So let's go to our Twilio account here. Okay, what you're going to need to do is go to numbers and I'm going to use this number right here. Here is the SMS request URL. We're going to just take that and po uh, do post because that's where we want it to, uh, to post to. Now I'm going to send an SMS. Let's see, where was it? Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to send an SMS to that phone number that I just did and, and uh, hang on with me a second. I will pause and I'll be right back. Okay, I just text a message in saying, this is Jim, just started on the job, we'll text when I'm done. So obviously this is a time tracker. So here's my thing, I'm going to refresh the page, it should be there already. And there we go, there it is. My text went right into my uh, Google spreadsheet. So one of the things that I thought you could use this for is a um, is to do a demo for a restaurant or something and have a phone number where people can text in reviews. And when they do that, it will be stored in a spreadsheet and they can pick the reviews they'd like, they can put them on the website uh, or whatever. So make it real simple for people to text in reviews. And uh, if you set this up with uh, your client's Google spreadsheet, they'll just be basically inserted in there whenever somebody texts in. So um, now this will not send a reply or anything like that. We're just talking about sending a text and having it stored. 
So there's my phone number and there's where I'm at and there's the timestamp right there and obviously the body. So, so you don't have to put in timestamp field. It will already automatically do that. And um, I hope this helps you. I hope it brings some ideas uh, for what you can use this for. Um, probably just do proof of concept for clients, whatever you, what you want. You can show them um, how they can just text in or how their uh, clients can or their customers can text in reviews and things like that. So that would be the first thing that I would think of. So hope that helped and I will talk to you soon.